So today I want to talk to you guys about my solar system that I got from EcoWorthy and how it fits in my 240 square foot tiny house. So let's jump up on the computer and show you guys exactly the kit that I have from EcoWorthy. It is a hybrid kit. It is uh, 800 watts, 3.2 kilowatts of solar power. And it has a 3000 watt 80 amp hybrid inverter. Mine also came with a mounting system that goes on the ground because my tiny house has a rainwater system and I didn't want any type of solar panels onto the roof because also it was not facing the correct way which is due south and where I am I need the solar panels to be about 45 degrees. That said, uh, EcoWorthy sent me this this kit right here it has a total of four panels which is 195 watts each uh, it comes with all the cables that you need and these cables are really heavy duty they're not some chimpsy flimsy stuff that you see on amazon the panels and everything came perfectly super fast uh, but there was one incident the panels one panel came cracked reached out to support and within 24 hours, they ship me brand new ones. So thanks to EcoWorthy for shipping me out a new one uh, super fast with no hesitation. I just had to send a picture. I got to keep the solar panel. I don't know if I can actually use it again, but hey, still there, I guess. So yeah, mine came with four panels, 195 watts a piece. Uh, it has the mounting bracket and then the 3000 watt hybrid inverter, all the cables necessary. And on this one, it's showing two batteries. However, there is a kit that you can get that has this giant 25.6, 100 amp hour uh, deep cycle battery. And that's what I have. So pretty much this is going to be a space saver for you. So think of this 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour battery being two 12 volt batteries that you're normally seeing. So how does it work? How does it perform with my lifestyle? Well, first I have to tell you that this is not attached to my panel box. If I flip these lights on and off, or if I'm uh, doing anything else, it's not powering the tiny house through the solar panels. I'm, I'm still on regular electric because of the inverter. So the inverter is a little different one that I've ever seen before in which very powerful, but the output is three 110 plugins. Who is this for? I think this is going to be for somebody that doesn't live full time, tiny house or a cabin. Maybe this is a getaway where you want to charge your phone, plug in like a 110, anything 110. Uh, think of this as like a massive solar power generator uh, that can do a lot more than these little, you know, little power generators that you might see everywhere because that's pretty much what it is it there's no way to tie this uh this uh inverter into your panel box even if you made your own homemade extension cord there's no way possible three 110 out outputs and then what i'm doing right now to test it and see kind of see how much batteries and also just see how much solar panels i actually need to start running this whole place because i'd like to see it in person and see how everything works and then I'll scope it out. But right now what I have is around this door right here, I have a whole setup pretty much made like a little shelf. Uh, put my inverter on there and then that big battery on there just fine. Right now because the biggest thing in the tiny house that draws the most power is the air conditioner as you can see right here. So I have an extension cord all the way through connecting to the inverter and my air conditioner is running fully off of solar. That's drawing the most power, AKA that is uh, making, that's like costing me the most money uh, if it's continuously ru uh, running. I've experienced so far is uh, with just the four panels, 195 watts a piece, 800 watts total, uh, a 3000 watt inverter, and then one 25.6 volt battery. I can run that air conditioner on high cool max seven for about, four hours low cool max seven i can do about six hours and for a fan uh, like a high fan i can have that thing running for almost 12 hours straight and that's just with the setup i just told you i had so if i had it on low cool i could probably run it for 24 hours this is the biggest draw in the tiny house so i know if i powered computer if i powered um 
my microwave or my refrigerator i'd have no problem doing any of that but with that said that's only with one thing at a time realistically if i wanted to power this whole house with just solar i would need one more battery and probably two more solar panels. And then an inverter, swap this, the inverter that I have out right now it's in this kit with an inverter that can tie to the grid because, or tie to the power box, sorry. The way I have it set up is I have my uh, mounting system outside with my solar panels facing south at a 45 degree angle, maximum efficiency. And then I have the solar wires running all the way through the window as you see and then it connect it connects in the back area of the inverter and then i attached the the battery into the inverter as well you can plug it into the wall like a mains priority and a solar priority and what that means is let's say uh i had right now i have on solar priority let's say the battery dies well, then it's going to switch back to the main power and power that battery with main, like regular electricity. Backwards, like main power, uh, think of it as a backup generator. So all in all, this kit is very good for somebody just starting with solar and wanting to learn more about solar and how to implement it in your tiny house, your uh, maybe your van, maybe your cabin, uh, whatever. I, or a chicken coop or something it it will probably it'll definitely run it in moderation so go ahead check out eco worthy and see what they have to offer i don't think you guys could go wrong tons of different options this isn't the only option that you can go with so if you're interested in seeing this whole journey of me creating a whole efficient solar system and being able uh to all these eco worthy products into my lifestyle uh, make sure to subscribe check me out on all social media so they it's all Jack Leonard Burt, that's J-A-C-K-L-E-O-N-A-R-D-B-I-R-T. That's on TikTok, uh, YouTube, uh, Snapchat if you want to, Instagram, wherever. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to check out any eco-worthy products, check the link in the description below, uh, as well as my merchandise and all that good stuff. Until then, I'll see you guys later.